so excited about this one. Wait till y'all see it. Now it's a big boy and it is a crossbody. Look how freaking classy that looks. I don't know. I love the simple classy looking bags. So it is this right here. You've got the gold metal hardware. The ties, you just like tie them to cinch it up. I'm so excited about this one. Wait this till y'all see it. Pillow. Why you get a scarf when you could be cozy all winter long in this pillow? It has a twist here and it's thickly padded. You're supposed to be able to take this with you on a plane or a car ride. It feels more like a neck brace than anything. And it slips and slides when I try to lay down. It's not padded enough for me to actually feel comfortable. It's just a This is an infinity pillow. Why you get a scarf when you could be cozy all winter long in this pillow? It has a twist here and it's thickly padded. You're supposed to be able to take this with you on a plane or a car ride. It feels more like a neck brace than anything. And it slips and slides when I try to lay down. It's not padded enough for me to actually feel comfortable. It's just a two words. Infinity pillow. Scrolling through TikTok. You know, mind my TikTok business. Rolled up on uh, an infinity pillow. I said, what is this? Please, somebody type in at infinity pillow. For women, just type it in. Go on over there, get lost. And then come back here and let me know what you think about it. Two words. Infinity pillow. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the whole for elect. Shalom to you few brothers and few sincere sisters that watch my videos and gain edification or useful knowledge in this truth. So, uh, you know, um, I came across in my daily scrollings, uh, Infinity Pillow. Um, this is new, new to me. Um, I didn't know what it was. So I did my research and found out that, you know, that these women out here of the world are disguising, uh, sex toys. Um, with male appendages or female attachments, um, appendages, you know, to pillows and stuffed animals. All right. So that's what what this basically is. And they could be walking around with it. It could be in their house. It could be laying around. And, you know, it's vile. It's disgusting. All right. So with that said, I have some videos lined up for you to watch and some scriptures as well. And Lord willing, you're out of fire. Go on over there, get lost. And then come back here and let me know what you think about it. Two words, infinity pillow. Scrolling through TikTok, you know, my, my TikTok business. Rolled up on uh, an infinity pillow. I said, what is this? Please, somebody type in at infinity pillow. For women, just type it in. Going over there, get lost, and then come back here and let me know what you think about it. Two. All right, so there you have it. She's suggesting that you go look up Infinity Pillow. All right, and nine times out of ten, you know I could be wrong, but I guarantee this woman has either an Infinity Pillow or she has some type of sex toy. You know, in her home. All right, because she's on, you know, she's on social media, and she's talking about this. So she's not embarrassed. She's not ashamed to talk about this type of thing, even if she has a man. What are you sitting up on social media if you have a husband talking about sex toys and, and infinity pillows, like, you know? And that's the problem with these women nowadays. You know, there's no shame. Let's bring back shame. You know, these women, they're not ashamed to uh to talk about these things. They they you know they just out in the open with it. You know. So this is Romans one and twenty six. For this cause the most high gave them up unto vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature, all right? 
And what's the natural use? Male and female. All right? Male and female. Procreation. That's the natural, that's the natural use. All right? And it's vile. You know, that's vile. You you having sex with a, a, a stuffed animal, a pillow, a machine. You know what I'm saying? That's vile in the eyes of the Lord. This is 1 John 2 and 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So these women are very worldly. All right. Nine times out of ten, they don't believe in any 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 power high greater than themselves. They sit in there, you know, very prideful, very haughty, uh, you know, stuck up. You know, I don't want a man. I don't need a man. You know, because they got they got infinity pillows. They got pillows with stuffed animals and hidden in stuffed animals and pillows with male appendages. This is First Corinthians eleven and nine. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So there you have it. The woman was created for the man. So why don't you have a man? All right? Why don't you have a man? You wasn't created for yourself. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient, the parents unthankful and unholy. So for men, men shall be lovers of their own selves. And this goes for women too. You know, women are lovers of their own selves. You know, a lot of these women out here, you know, they, you know, they love themselves more than anything else. All right? They, they, they trying to please the flesh. They love the flesh. This is Jude 1 and 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire, going after strange flesh. This place is going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah, getting themselves over to fornication, you know, which fornication for a man is, is, is adultery. And for a woman, it's having sex with more than one man. All right, that's fornication. And fornication, you, you having sex with a sex toy. First Corinthians 7 and 9, but if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. And that's right. So y'all women is going off. That's a cut for y'all women, you know? It is better Matt, to marry than to burn. For if they cannot contain, let them marry. For it is better to marry than to burn. And that's the problem with nowadays. You know what I'm saying? People are so, oh well, you know, um, you know, they 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 just they think that you know, it, it, it's okay for for a woman to go out there and be a hoe. To be a whore, to go out and be promiscuous. You know, but it says, if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. And I, I know, you know, I'm going to catch a lot of flack, but that goes for, you know, I know when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? That goes for, uh, for, 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 for teenage girls. They getting popped in, in elementary school, junior high school, high school. I, I don't know how many girls are still holding on to their virginity. It was just a rare few. They had the ones that they, they held on to their virginity was the um the ones that had fathers. It was like pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones they they, they held on to to the virginity. Other ones was low hanging fruit. They was getting popped. But it, it says in the scripture that they cannot contain. Let them marry for this better to marry than to burn. 
So I don't see why, you know what I'm saying, a lot of, you know, uh, and this is going a little bit off topic, but it's not. But I don't see why, you know what I'm saying, people have a whole issue, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all misconstruing that whole, the whole grape situation. All right? And we're not saying, you know, we're not saying it's okay to do, you know, for, for that, for that, for that, uh, to, to, to do that. You're going to go get locked up. You're going to go to jail. And we ain't going to want nothing to do with your ass. You know what I'm saying? But this is what the scriptures say. And a lot of y'all get fucked up over it because y'all can't handle what the scriptures say. But if they cannot contain, let them marry for it's better to marry than to burn. This is 1 Corinthians 7 and 36. But if any man think that he behaves himself uncommonly towards his virgin, towards his virgin, so how would a man have a virgin? Uncommonly towards his virgin. If she passed the flower of her age and needs so required, let him do what he will. He sinneth not. Let them marry. And what's marry? Marriage is sex. Marriage is, you know, you consummate the marriage. When, when a man goes into a woman, he knows her. He enters her. But if he think that he behaves himself uncommonly towards his virgin, and if she passed the flower of her age, you know, I don't know why people get this fucked up. It's it's so self-explanatory. It's easy. And then I'm, I'm going to bring something else out. But if a man thinks he's treating his fiance improperly, this is the NLT, but if a man thinks he's treating his fiance improperly and will inevitably give into his passion, let him marry her. Let him marry her as he wishes. It is not a sin. And let's go into the let's go into some of the some of these meanings. Overripe, plump, and 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 so in a greater danger of defilement. See, y'all people don't fucking read. In Beyond the bloom of or prime of life, overripe. That means she's 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 past the age. She's getting these feelings and emotions. Whenever a woman gets those feelings and emotions, she's she's ready. You know what I'm saying? She's ready to get popped. Am I making sense here? Like overripe, plump, and is a greater danger of defilement of a virgin. A young damsel is a, you know, is would, would be a virgin. Not an older woman. She's she's probably already, you know, had had a husband already. You know, she's probably a widow, or you know, what I'm saying like, you know, she probably has a husband. She should have a husband. Not probably. She should have a husband. But nowadays, you know, in the world, these women are these women are are are, 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 are popped already. You know, what I'm saying they got multiple bodies. But it says. If a woman is if a greater danger danger of defilement of a virgin. So what happens? These that's and that's the problem with you you people in the world, y'all got shit fucked up. Is that that's why these women are in so much trouble. Because they get these feelings, these emotions, they ready, they're they're ripe, they're ready, they're ripe. Okay? They're ready, they're ripe. They're ready to be to, 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 to be a woman, to procreate, to have a husband, to serve, and y'all tell them they gotta wait. And it says, if you're in danger of defilement, what's defilement? If you're in danger in danger of, of you know, if you having these feelings and you know, you know, you 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 getting these urges. Anytime a man, you know what I'm saying, walk by, a woman gets these urges. They're like a dog in heat. So it's better for her to marry. Past the flower of one's age.
past the bloom of her youth. You know what I'm saying? That could be any age where a woman is ready to, to start having sex. To You know what I'm saying? When she's ready, when she's mature enough to have sex. If she's a virgin and she's holding on to that shit and she can't contain herself any, any longer. If you can't get this, I don't know. Maybe you rode the short bus. But if any man may think that he behaves himself uncommonly towards his virgin... And she is, if she is past the flower of her age and needs so required, let him do what he will. Let him do what he will. Let him do what he got to do. Let him, let him pop her. That's his wife. That's his woman. He been holding on to her, you know what I'm saying, and trying to let her let her develop, let her get older, you know what I'm saying, get mature, and she, she can't contain herself. You know what I'm saying? She can't hold on to that, to that V card no more. All right? But that's righteous. That's righteous in the eyes of the Lord. She ready to get popped. This is Ecclesiasticus. Salakia. Satan always putting some, some monkey wrench, you know. The whoredom of a woman may be known by her haughty looks and her eyelids. A lot of these women are whores out here, and that's how you could tell by her um no by her haughty looks and her eyelids. And what does that mean? I'm gonna let you know what it means. Haughty. It goes Satan again. Proud, vain, arrogant, conceited, snobbish, stuck up, pompous, self important, superior, egotistical, super, supercilious, condescending, lofty, patronizing, smug, contentious, disdainful. And that's the that's the look of a lot of these women out here. In like manner, see, Satan. I'm on, I'm on my way to prove my point. And like men are also adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair, gold, pearls, or costly array. So that was one of the one of the terms in there, shamefacedness. Shamefacedness. Shameface, modesty, bashful, showing ashamed. That's how women are supposed to be. Not proud, not, you know what I'm saying? Not, 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 not that that proud look. They're supposed to be bashful. Afraid to look a man in his eyes. Ashamed to look a man in his eyes. Not looking a man in his eyes. Lord willing, you few brothers and sincere sisters have been edified. Shalom to the next one.